The following opinions are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Boatest.com, and today we're going to be conducting a features inspection of a new yacht from Sea Ray that combines the sporty look of an express cruiser with the functionality of a flybridge boat. It's the 460 Fly, so let's start our tour right at the top. The flying bridge is accessed from stairs to the port side of the cockpit. Storage is just beneath. Immediately to starboard, there is U-shaped seating wrapping around a natural teak table on twin stainless steel pedestals. Grab handles to both sides of the table support the expandable leaves when opened. Just ahead is a double-wide lounge seat that easily converts to a regular seat, all in close proximity to the captain at the helm. Over to the port side, there's an entertainment center with a freshwater sink and a Corian counter with removable cover over an electric grill. A heat shield is under the cover. Below is a stainless grab handle and a refrigerated drawer. Overhead is a standard hardtop that shades the entire deck and a button at the helm opens the four feet of fabric sunroof. Now moving to the main deck, we'll start with the boarding location at the swim platform. This teak covered platform comes out four feet eight inches, is hydraulic and brackets are in the center for mounting a small tender or PWC. A remote control is in a concealed locker to the starboard side and the system is powered up with a master switch. A reboarding ladder is beneath and to the center, and a handhold in the decking allows for easy transitions out of the water. To the port hand side, there are stairs that are flush with the deck until the platform is lowered, and then they automatically rise from the deck. Just ahead, there's plenty of storage, in this case, occupied with life jackets. Just ahead is a hatch that lifts to reveal an electric grill with a sink right alongside. This location keeps the cockpit opened up for gathering, but even that can be approved upon as desired. Let's take a look. The cockpit features L-shaped seating with a removable cushion for boarding from a fixed pier. Filled in, it completes the seating. There's a mount for a pedestal table. The comfortable seats have flip-down armrests, premium upholstery with diamond stitching, and storage underneath. When it comes time to load up the space with guests, just the touch of a button slides the seating back 16 inches to the swim platform to really open up the area. Symmetrical side decks to port and starboard lead to the bow. There are 29-inch high side rails and a grab rail to the cabin side. At the bow, there's a pair of sun pads that can be adjusted to provide leg support as well as lift into Shay's lounge position. Stainless grab rails are to both sides. With the flush threshold and the door being able to open fully, we can create a seamless blend of the inside and outside. Ceiling height is 7 feet 2 inches, adding to the open feel. The galley really encompasses both sides, so let's start with a close look to port. Here we have an L-shaped area with plenty of open counter space. A two burner cooktop is to the outside and under the cover is a single basin stainless steel sink. I especially like the decorative backsplash keeping everything contained to the Corian counter. Below is a convection microwave and plenty of storage. At the end of the counter is a stainless grab handle and just underneath a convenient ice maker. To starboard is a 40 inch flat screen. Below is more open counter space with storage underneath and below that is the side-by-side -side refrigerator freezer and more storage. As we transition to the salon, there's an 8-inch step in the real wood engineered decking. The salon consists of opposing seating with a two-person love seat to starboard and an L-shaped sofa to port. A beautifully finished pedestal table will be either cherry or walnut to match the interior cabinetry, and it can be moved aside to convert the sofa to a sleeper. At the end of the sofa is an enclosed cabinet housing the entertainment system, including the head unit for the Bose surround sound system, and notice the high-gloss dark cherry veneer. This is an upgraded wood finish. The standard finish is a French walnut satin veneer. Now that we've taken a look at the main deck, let's head below and check out the accommodations. Our lower deck survey starts with this open atrium with plenty of natural light from above. We'll start with the master just aft. As we enter, the hull side windows and the 6 foot 2 inch overhead dropping only to 5 feet 8 inch give an open and roomy feel to the stateroom. A queen size berth is mounted on the center line. We have storage below the hull side window with matching wood trim above and notice the corner mounted shelf behind the window, all repeated to the opposite side. There's a full length cedar closet and a shorter closet to starboard. Ahead is a 32 inch TV with a concealed washer-dryer combination beneath. The surround sound system is right alongside the TV, and I like the subdued lighting above the wood trim. At the entrance to the stateroom, we have a full-length mirror across from a pocket door to the ensuite head. There are mirrored storage cabinets that open garage door style just above the vessel sink atop a silestone quartz counter with a hull side window just ahead, and notice the opening port light. Storage is below the counter, and behind is a walk-in shower. As we come out of the master, another door in the atrium leads us to storage. Back out to the atrium, and we have access to the day head. 
This also has a private entrance to the VIP stateroom just forward. Here we have an island berth flanked by hull side windows to port and starboard and even more light from an overhead hatch. There's a division here where the berth separates into two berths, scissor style, for when the stateroom is occupied by people that might not be a couple. There's an upholstered headboard with high gloss cherry woodwork to both sides. A 24 inch TV is to the aft bulkhead. To port is a cedar closet with a Blu-ray player and satellite TV receiver at the top. Another cedar closet is to starboard. While clearly, Sea Ray was able to continue to offer the level of luxury, fit, and finish in this latest cruiser, all while adding a new entertainment venue with an elevated perspective of the flying bridge. All in a comfortable boat that has great handling characteristics, but that's another video. Be sure to look for it. For now, that's our features inspection of the all-new 460 Fly from Sea Ray. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.